All right. All right, so this is part two. Right, so I'd written part two, you know. So they they the husband basically. Wait now, there's your decided? Yeah. Oh. I look how beautiful she look here. Okay. That's fine. Oh, so you're the sweet man. Yeah. Basically. Mm -hmm. And the fancy shit wasn't too good for me. So it wasn't too good for you. So let me continue. I know. wasn't too good for you. So, that is it, a nice tenant. That is when that is my second daughter, and she's so nice. All the, everybody who come in here, they like me, you know. All the tenants, everybody. That is she. She used to take care of my baby to go and do my little post and thing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, mm. let me continue. Okay. From the part where we 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 ended off. When I when I set the holidays to make my baby set the train and never right. came out. Right. Yeah. No when I came here to live, the girl had three children. They make my baby say the children. They do, right? And my first daughter. When they, they say she could come up black and ugly. They the one they say you could come up black, black and ugly. Black and ugly, yes. Okay. Hmm. Alright. So they, they didn't want to feel. Yeah, they make my baby sit for all my the baby make my baby sit for real I have a real babysit. I have a real babysit the children and they never pay me. And it was never a problem with me. It was never a problem with me. But I say, you other making my babysit on the train and then after all they make it back on the man or they pay me. So I tell Alan, I say, Alan, they're not paying me and they're making my babysit train. That's wrong. And Alan said, well, stop babysit. And in the morning, she will come and she will knock the door and she will bring the train and I'll still take them. But let me answer this. Mm -hmm. What happened? What would have transpired because I see my battery cannot win down there, so I don't want it to end then. But what would have happened like the day before, basically? What is you? Okay, lost plenty of weight, boy. Because of the, um, the situation. Okay. But what would have happened and transpired the day before, basically? What day before? What the day before the, the murder. murder. Murder? Yeah. But I believe I tank I purchased. I purchased half tank. A tank? Mm -hmm. Okay. I saved my money and said dashing and the salmon and pie and juice and water. And I purchased a tank because it had real real problem with the tank. Sometimes it well, they used to take off the pump on me. I used to, have to beg them to put it on. When I get up in the morning, no water to cook food for the children and them. And it always had a problem with that. And I used to get vexed and angry because the tank is all on tank and yes, the pump is them own. All the tank always on, right? So when them have to go, they turn and up, take it off the pump. And I have to wait for them to come back and plug back on the pump. And I'm all Alan tank open. So I started to get real fed up by the situation. Real fed up, real fed up, real fed up, real fed up. It's like they were frustrating it to leave this again. Yes. So I actually tell Alan, I said, them is not people, them is not nice people. Because if I turn off the pipe, when I want the water and I turn off the pipe, they will get vexed with me. Right? So one hand will clap. You all can't turn off the pump. And... The, all the part, all the tanks and them open. That is unfair. Mm -hmm. So I started, I started to tell mother my situation. A woman I really trust. That is the lady next door. She was like a mother to me, and she wasn't. She wouldn't say anything bad about them. All she would say, Amanda, you have to just pray. That was what she would say. Amanda, if you're praying, you just have to pray. You just have to pray. You just have to pray. Anyhow, it never changed. It never changed. It never changed. It never changed. Everything is just in me. When I remember I tell her I gave birth to the first kid, mm -hmm. right? They, they say they can't wait to see the baby come up black and ugly, right? The baby did not come up black and ugly. I come and I gave birth again to the second one. They didn't say nothing. They didn't say nothing about that second one. I come and I get pregnant again and I gave birth to the third one. And she's the mother stay on the stairs in front of the son. The father of Alan, which is my was supposed to be my father, you know, but He's not nothing to me. I will, he's nothing to me. Right. That um, the baby is not you. Mm -hmm. Alan feels sad because she's not in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. I feel so sad and angry. I don't have. I don't know what else to do. I say, oh, well, I can say the children is not you. How well, I can do that? Oh, well, the children I make is Alan own. How well, I can do that? And everybody here when she say that, and it was 
that was that was just adding up on Alan. I said, Alan, how your mommy could do that? He said, girl, yeah, she don't like it and she will never like it. She don't like it and she will never like it. So, and that would have been the day before she, she would have done that? No! That would have been the third child. child. Yeah. But no, but the day before, basically, well, the day... I push, okay, as I was saying, there is a turn of the tank, turn right. of the tank, turn of the tank. So I say, here what? Here always a problem for water. I will sacrifice and I will purchase a tank. I sacrifice, I purchase a tank. The man bring the tank in the, in the yard. We didn't know what, if we put it in the middle day, we would have been blocking up the vehicle from passing and it would have been a problem. If I put it there, the father I know what a cost man said, don't put no tank there. There's where your tenants have to be and some have no tenants right now. So I eventually take the tank and put it where it went, but I had nobody until my husband come from work. Right? We just put it there for temporary. It wasn't going to stay there. But it had way for people to pass. Mm -hmm. My sister could pass and my sister is 10 times faster than me. My sister could pass, she's 10 times faster than the other girl upstairs. But the other girl had a problem. She called her father and say she couldn't pass with the tank. And that is what my okay. husband and my father was arguing about the tank that I purchased. Oh, so it started with the, the, the tank that I purchased. And then after Wednesday, I well, want to hear the story now with, with the dashing and everything. Mm -hmm. So Wednesday now, Wednesday night now, I said, Alan, the dashing sell out. I said, Alan, you'll go and get the dashing. He said, Anytime you're ready, gay. You just tell me, you'll go for the dashing. We're not going for the dashing 10 o'clock. When we come home 10 o'clock, I tell Alan, I'm real tired, I'm going to undo. But the place was feeling so dusty and the kitchen had a little ways. So I started to wash up the ways and I passed the broom and Alan was sitting down here. When I come outside to sit down, Alan was here. Alan was here sitting down. I don't know what he was doing, but he was there sitting down here. And I said, oh God, Alan, get up and um, put it, bring in, get up and bring in the arm, the cassava. Because we had cassava that then said, get up and bring in the cassava and I, I didn't want it to go after the 10. I wanted to go the real 10. I didn't want it to go like, Past then, no. So I said, I'm bringing the cassava. And he was like, Yes, just now you're bringing the cassava and things. So I'm going in the kitchen, sweeping and everything. Bow shot. We didn't bring, went for the cassava at 10 o'clock and tell her. come inside. He said, Step, I just find a phone. And the phone I could actually follow from a man. Because I said, When the man will come, and when the man come, he will give back the man his phone. The man really come, and I'll give back the man his phone. Anyhow, I said, Alan, sleep and wake. I said, Alan, I'm going to take a shower and I'm going to sleep and wherever the case might be. One last thing I hear he tell my daughter, well, daddy going to make your milk and complex, daddy tell what? Daddy going to make your milk and complex, and when daddy make a milk and complex, tonight is me and your mommy night. So I said, what do you say? He said, tonight is me and your mommy night. So I smiled. I said, I don't know what you're talking about, and I just fall asleep. When I fall asleep now, sleep and wake. I hear an Alan arguing, and I hear any father arguing. So I say, oh God, not today. I run up and I grab my towel. Let's see, right there, I always have my towel. Since I know myself, my towel always be, always be. I run up and get my bedroom right there. So they were coming in, so here, not far from here. So I hear, I grab my towel, I put on my towel. When I put on my towel, First person to see is Alan, second to see is Aston. Alan, what happened? Who's Aston? That's the father. Okay. Yeah. So I was like, Alan, oh God, go away now, go away now, go away now. Forget them now, Alan. Forget them now, Alan. I said, I don't know. So if I go into the session now, I make a report that the father threatened to shoot him and kill him. And I just watch the father's hand. And I watch the father's hand, I see a little gun. And I said, I don't know, God, I don't know. That is an Astron, as, 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 yes. Right, that he had the gun. Yes, I, I see, my father, I know how the gun. I swear to God, I wouldn't lie. I see. I have children, I have a young baby, she's eight months. I see. As soon as my, my husband tell me, he going to the station now and make a report. Where you get the gun from? The, I do not know. He's I, a police officer? No. I see him, I meet him outside with the gun in his hand right on the stairs. I see so him. it was a, is a illegal gun basically? Yes, they say he have license for the gun. 
Yeah. You have a license for the gun? Mm -hmm. They gave him license for the gun. But what, what type of work he into? Well, I said, sorry, I know my father, I know he was a construction and he had land, plenty of land. Because my husband used to go and work on the land. They oh, so they gave him the they gave him So a, I don't know where they gave him. No, they could have given the license gun to, because he's a contractor basically. In Probably. The, Right, so I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know. So you had a license gun. Yes, this, the gun was. But a that was the police say. Yes, yes, it was a license gun. Right. And when I come out and say, "Oh God, I'm going away now. Clean it, dash it, and pray it out now. Oh God, forget. Oh God, Alan. Oh God." And Alan just gone in the van, and I put the foot behind Alan. Put the foot behind Alan. And Alan gone in the van. The gate was open. Alan gone in the van. Alan took the first flash. He, cut, he didn't even take the cut, that's the chap, he put it out, he put it in bow. And he, as Alan dropped down on the ground, he woke up to Alan again and hit him on the next one. Bow? Okay. And I shot him. Yeah, he hit him one and walk away? I, he never walk away, I bow, and as he walk away, I saw so you shoot. Okay, you shoot Alan. And he and he walk one too, and he pointed at me. And I just leave, and I went and see what Alan, and Alan was just only bowling. He was just only bawling. And when so, I look up, I see my girl just there. And I run inside. And when I was running inside, my girlfriend, she said, Amanda, what happened? Amanda, what happened? Amanda, what happened? I said, I'm going to shoot him and kill him and I'm dead. She ran outside and she said, Alan, she said, me, no, Amanda, Alan, not dead. Alan, not dead. I said, yes, Alan, dead. She tell me I'm not dead. I said, yes, I'm dead. And my brother in law was coming from work at the same time. And me and a friend take off his jersey. And I ended up dropping him after because he was so heavy. And they drag him and they put him in the vehicle and they go with him. And then everything was just like chaos. Everybody was shocked. My daughter ran inside and tell the next one that. She said, what happened? We're crying because she said that a puppy just shoot daddy. And she was crying, and she, my daughter said she died 999, and she couldn't talk. Everybody was just. So, wait, how. So, he was. If he back was facing um, your father in law? Or? Yes, um, me and Alan were, uh, we were here in the gate, and the father back was facing Alan. No, no. He, 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 Alan was facing the road. Alan wasn't facing, facing, he was facing, Alan was facing inside with me. Two of us was facing inside. Well, oh, facing, right. Yes. And the father-in-law was facing in which direction? We direction. In which direction? So yes. he was watching front to front? Yes. Okay, face so to face, basically. So when Alan pulled out the cutlash, as Alan did this, he pulled out the gun and he hit Alan. Bow! And I was so... So he, he shoot him, basically? No. Well, I see Alan holding his belly, so I think he gets to the belly. When he the idea of topsy do, I get to find out it's in the buttocks. But he was really holding the belly, he wasn't holding it. When he got the shot, he fell long ago one time and he was holding and he was crawling. And was it you think? I saw what the father took one here, bow. What? And he had to be? Yes, in the chest. And then after Alan crawl, 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 and he just only was, oh God. Oh God, when he got the first shot, he ball out. Oh God, I love to shoot me. Oh God, I love to shoot me. Oh God, I love to shoot me. And he says, Step, step, oh God, I love to shoot me. Step, oh God, I love to shoot me. I hold it in hand. He says, Step, don't leave. Don't leave them children. And no, I'm going to hide it. What did police tell you when they came? What did the police tell me when they came? The police didn't speak to me at all. I was angry, I was upset, I was mad, I okay. was I was going crazy, I was here, there, here, here. They never talked to me. But two officers come and talk to me and say, relax, relax. I showed them the dashing was there, the two big bag of dashing was right there. I was going mad. And he was, they had him talk, they had so my father. They didn't hold him and lock him up? No, they didn't hold him and lock him up. They gave him a chance to talk right in the middle yeah, of the day. Yeah, the question in the Yes, before they lock him up. Yeah, before what happened. And then after, they eventually put him in the van and then homicide come. And it was crazy and it, people couldn't come in. It was like a movie. 
It was like a movie, a nightmare. Have you never go in jail at all at all for that? Well, since I have a new myself, I never see a son in jail. So, Astro is back out? Astro is not out. Where, where, where is he? He's in jail. Oh, he's in jail right now? Oh, that's what I'm asking if he's in jail or he's out. No, he's in jail. Oh, he's I'm going to say if he ever has been in jail. No, no, no. Is it for some, I know to myself, he is in jail. I don't know what kind of jail, but they have him now. No, they don't have him to hold him for inquiries and all the different things. What do you... What do you... Um, and what your mother, what your mother won't say that. When I should say that, she say, she say, is you who caused that? Is you who caused that? I say, how oh, I who caused that? I just get up. Why are you so lady? And then after, me and this sister had an argument. Me and this sister had an argument. Wait, the same night of the um. No, the same day that happened. When I right, shoot yeah, her man. yeah, yes. the same, same yes, time. Yes, yes, yes. He say that I don't know. When I should start finding fear. He say um. She say, she say, is you who caused that? Is you you? I say, I blame him. me. I say, I didn't have the gun, I didn't shoot your, your son. How you can blame me and say, I the fault, I now get up. And the woman see me in my towel, and she's still accusing me. She is the fault again, but everything that takes place here is she. Everything what happened with Alan and his father is because of what she. What are you saying here now? I don't know. She said, I have to leave. As Alan, she tell me, I have to leave. This is her house. Okay, I come. I try to make things nice with her. I try to talk to she in front of my sister, my auntie, and they see how her behavior. She say, I said, I don't want the sister in my my husband funeral because she, she have a lot of part to do with it. She tell me this is her house. So even eventually, probably she, she want me to leave. But I'm not going to leave. Go and leave and go away. Five babies I have. Who gonna take me to shack up? I come from a poor family. You understand? Hmm. We don't have toilet and bath where I live. Who built, who built, who built here? Alan Stow tell me that. Alan Stow tell me he built here. So, he tell me he built here. And you've been living here for more than the... I've been living here for over 12 years, going on right. 13 years. <laughs> yeah, I come here 2008 to live here with Alan to take care of him when he get the accident. Yes. Right. So, and how old is the foot your biggest child? She's 10 years. Right. Okay, come. 10 years. So basically you under you under you fall under the common law the common law relationship basically. Yeah, yeah the common law right. Yeah. So and all but you went to you went and um you get to move around since or anything? No, just to hand my 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 children father. My common law husband funeral. That's all. Not I ain't get to go NIS, I ain't get to see welfare. Nobody in contact. What's in contact? You anything? Nothing nice. Yes, yeah, she'll get your thing because she have um. No. You want to get on there. She got a lot of things to get. She has to do and make sure and get no. there. Yeah, we are, no, yeah, we are. No, no, no. She has to do all of that. Can't get there. Yeah, no yeah, yeah, what is happening? So they asked me to leave, basically. Yes. And um, how long she gave me to leave? Since I live in here, since I come here to leave, since I come here to live, every argument is to go from here. It's to go from here. Amanda always this, Amanda always that, Amanda always this. And if, 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 if rain falls too hard and I come outside and say rain, stop falling in the yard. It's to leave. Everything is to leave. Every problem, every issue is to leave. Go. Leave from here and go. Go from here. <laughs> go by and, um, and it's to leave. She has a, and she has she to get, I tell you she will have to get yeah. a to, um, yeah. she has to get one of the family to say, I know become a daughter, husband, that he work in corporation, and you have to get one of the family to go to the NIF or somewhere she has to go to see where they are, if that if they would do. No, but, you know, a situation. Yeah, they promote for common law, why? Because yeah. they're going to have a law. common law, yeah. Yeah. as long as we pass the three years. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. my daughter went to no, that. You need what's in contact, you know. Mm. Well, nine years what you what what may have to happen? My daughter, my granddaughter is nine years, the killer has gone too. But she lived with him, but she's a police woman. So um you had to get she had to get proof that she was living with him. I think she was living about fifteen years, fifteen to sixteen years they were living together. 
Yeah, but she had to get proof to take it to the um, NIS and then... Yeah, if, but they say if, if they say if I will come you know, the train, will be inherited. And if you are, um, mm -hmm. you have to get into and you have to keep that debt to begin to tell you. And you're getting, um, if in, if in, in union, you have a union fee to get to. What, what you may have to yeah, There are a lot of things for you to do. But, hmm. the I'm house down in Maruga, that is what, or your own, or your property, or what? How, no, how it is, a swatting, a swatting? No, but we won't say we, it has been home because we don't have land, and we don't have the paper sitting like we land, but we live there for all just our life, nobody do any fair we, nobody do tell us nothing. Like nobody would have been, nobody would have been living. Like no, but I want to know because one of the things that, what can happen is that if it is that you're living there for how long, basically over the period of time, you grew up on the property basically with your mother and all them different people. So let me talk to Peter Shade. I want to take your number. And if we had to come down to Muruga, we had to go down to Muruga to see whether or not how we will be able to assist in terms of building over the house. Because if the if the house now if it didn't force itself, that no Muruga um, it's a big forest in kind of area, but if it is that it is... Um, yeah, but if, if it's like I don't want to go back to Moruga, so I will have so much up and down because all the gears are green and gears are a sea, and if I could get a place in Arima... Well, well what may have to happen... Yeah. Get, um, what because may I have to happen... Because I mean to say Moruga is plenty family I have, yeah. right? No, yeah, it's but well, what we could do... Well, we want to talk to them. I know, they're trying to go into school. Some yeah. of them go into school. Yes, I the children go in, yes, I see. Yeah, I think and that... And when you miss, when you, when you, when you transfer them, sometimes they keep them down, yeah. and sometimes they send them up, but most of the time they just keep them down, I don't know. But and I think that places like, like Maruga School are going to be backward. But... Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and, and, and tell me, yeah. even say if I live down Maruga and have all the children, you would have done take up all the children from them school because it's backward. It is, you it is. But, but it, no, but well, we can talk, to, we can talk to, um, Penny. to Penny and and, and uh, see, you know, to try and um, look at housing and different yeah. things. But I mean, yeah, that kind of volatile situation, basically. So that's why they should help in a very fast uh, way to get for a house, help us to get something. I feel so. Well, that's not my goal. I I can only um. I think we can talk to and make the recommendation basically. Yeah. You're working right now? No, I was a housewife and a hustler. I said, sell my dashing. No, and yeah, yeah. No, well, no, I'm it, working. Yeah. And I can't work because I don't really trust people with my children. But well, she's selling. No, they're selling. She's yeah. selling, so yeah. she's working, so she's selling. She's a vendor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put it as a vendor. She is a vendor. Mm -hmm. Right? So, she is a vendor, so she no. says, not that she's looking, she's a vendor like... No, well, yeah, she's selling, she's self-employed. Yeah, she's self-employed. Because there's a situation here now, so I'm not, I'm not working. And she will get a lump sum of money so she can pay down on some property or something like that, because she will get a lump sum of money. Well, you will have to actually make a movement and but stuff. But you need to write letters, so you need to write a penny and them and... You know, although we will talk to them, but you need to forward a little bit of letter. Any one of them yeah. came and check it? Oh, the council, I forget her name. Like the, the red girl. Not Penny. Penny, come, Penny, come. but she sent the council, but the council came and, and what the council saying? She ain't saying anything, she doesn't tell you she has. She said, come to Roland I said, thank you, and she said, she received. I she don't know how Penny came because when, um, when Shawnee did, um, come here, come and look for the park, well, about three times. I think that the council, the minister should have been here. We have the minister for the ferry, the minister for the ferry, Penny. Yeah, Penny will be the MP, MP for you. Mm -hmm. But um, let me um, let me talk to her. I will take your number. You will give me your number because I call Strongy and and Strongy tell me do I your number because listening to the interview, I have to play back. You know, Strongy. No, I play back the um, interview because I think he was talking the night when yeah, he was doing yeah. the interview. Yeah. <laughs> and I was listening to it and I had to play back, play back, play back to hear what he was saying properly. 
in terms of the number. Yeah, because people really say they give strong real numbers to contact me and show you say you have a number. Yeah, here you say here you give me number. Treat us. Yes, sister. Okay. But I want to thank you for the interview because I did talk about it on a few occasions because I see the story and I, and I was really trying to call it to actually interview live actually and um, but I say no nah, well then bam well it had to hold back on every DSS drama thing so I said okay let me kill two birds at one stone let me find which one is because nobody seemed to have your number I threw it out on Facebook still yet nobody can find the number I tried to go into um, into the Facebook profile and still yet no response so I said, well, okay, let me find it. And I end up listening back the tape, listening back the tape. And that's how I end up getting the number for Strongy. Call him Strongy phone. He, we say he can call him any day, any time, yeah, yeah. any hour, any night. Yeah. <laughs> and Strongy went and said, he phone for that kingdom come. He's not even on WhatsApp. So I said, well, okay, let me, um, bam. It's so strange that I end up saying, now nah, I'll call him this evening. Guys, when you listen to me, I get you to know. Yeah, no, I try it out too, you know. And nobody seems to have the number, so. But this evening, I still let me call. Call, call again. And bam, he actually answered the, the last time. And that's how he ended up telling me, go up and um, go up so. Then I said, so, all right, well, I'll, I'll go up and find the person. But I'm not sure that small. So. But I wanna I wanna thank you for actually doing the interview. You know, because one I will I, I am doing a follow-up story on, on these interviews basically. Because I following a justice pattern basically. In the final what went on with the case because I didn't know what was happening with the father because for he to shoot somebody and then I didn't hear what he was saying in terms of if the police told him. And all the different thing I think he was charged or nothing. But I thought he wasn't I thought he wasn't locked up, right? And that he think so. That man that, the police didn't take him up right away when um they asked him some of the Christians. He say, I hear him call the police and say, I just shoot my son, he pull up a dash to take um to chat him up. I said, I watched his man in the face, I said, Mr. Astor and he couldn't watch me. So he had no remorse basically for shooting his son. No. But I don't mind you shoot him once. But come and if you sell the fence, you shoot him again. Foot. But if they both sell the fence, you will not come back again to hit him in the chest. Yeah. 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 You hit him one and walk away and say, sell the sell the fence. Because if I want to shoot you in the sell the fence, one bullet is hitting you and I walk away. No, well, when they do the, when they do the, um, not only just, the, well, yeah, the autopsy. And they do the investigation, they will see that, okay, you shoot him once, because they will see the direction in which the bullet came from. And they will see, okay, it penetrated one side, came out probably through the buttocks area. So it probably did damage, basically. And then they will see, well, he actually came over the man, because the man fall down. No, everything happened fast. He take 10 minutes and it the next one, you know? No, well, he did fall down when he, when he got the first one. He yeah. Right, so when he came over him, he would have had to stand up over him exactly, and fire the next shot. So the direction was where we would tell him whether or not if he was actually self defending himself. Because the first one, yes, but not the second one. But I want to thank you for doing the interview. Um, I will talk to um, Mr. Kutishi and, 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 and then. And yeah, we and do a follow up on it. But do a letter, send it up to Penny so that we could follow up in a better way that she could say, look, I get a letter, the letter from the woman, and, and she could do something fast. Better do, where was the writer, where was the put on the letter? Is it the master? Mr. Piggy, right?